Welcome to the lovely area of Belgravia. And also later in this video, we'll be going to Chelsea as well. Now, these are two adjacent areas in London, which are absolutely beautiful to visit on their own. And they've got amazing Christmas decorations out for 2023. So stay watching as we bring you all of the decorations from around the Chelsea and Belgravia area. Now we're gonna kick off with Eggleston Yards, which is one of those places in Belgravia that's tucked away. But once you find it, it's one of those places you're drawn to because it's got amazing places to go and eat and drink at. Now, if you've been to London, and you've ever caught a coach from London, it's highly possible that you caught it from Victoria Coach Station, right by Victoria Tube Station, also the big station there at Victoria as well. Well, funnily enough, Belgravia is adjacent to it. It's that close. But how about this place? This place is often not seen because it, once again, like a lot of these secret places in London, they're tucked away out of it. And just look at these beautiful lights all hanging, are suspended here in the sky. If you're a regular watcher of the channel, you'll know that we've covered both Belgravia and Chelsea in videos earlier this year, especially with Chelsea and the Chelsea Flower Show. But as you can see, all these things have been laid up so you can have some great selfies in front of, well, these angel wings. But there you go, just look back and see these decorations here at Eccleston Yards. So this Christmas, we want to bring you the lights that everyone expects us to bring, such as Regent Street, Oxford Street, and the places off there. But here, we also want to bring you some of the fantastic lights that not many people get around to going and seeing, because you don't really think of it. And how about this? This is a cake shop on Elizabeth Street in the middle of Belgravia. And over the road, you've got this coffee shop with this beautiful lit up garland as well. Now Elizabeth Street that we're on is often quite busy with traffic so you've got to be careful when doing stuff like this uh, because you're taking life into your own hands as you dive backwards and forwards across the roads. But if you do, you're rewarded with some fantastic views like these chandeliers hanging down from the middle of the road. Now, last year in this spot, they had the giant reef here in Belgravia. This year, it's missing one Father Christmas. Yeah, Rudolph is here with all his presents, all being posted here, but where is Father Christmas? That's the big one. Now, what I really love about these chandeliers, it looks like it's got individual candles hanging around them. So they really do look quite spectacular. But the other thing about Belgravia is the shops. Just look at some of these shops and the way that they've decorated them ready for Christmas 2023. And then above the shops, you've got the railings with some Christmas trees stuck in those as well. But for me, it's the shop fronts that really, really get it. Now, Belgravia is just one of those places to go strolling any time of the year. And actually, if you fancy coming down here during the summer, a lot of the cafes have got their tables out in the street so you can sit and watch the world go by. And believe you me, it's a world and a half. Yeah, some of the most expensive properties in London are based here in Belgravia. Yeah, not just Mayfair, but they're over here in Belgravia as well. And if you've heard of Eaton Square, well, that's literally in Belgravia as well. And a lot of people have from previous TV shows. Now, while by Gravia is quite a large area, a lot of it is filled with housing. So there are key places to come and see the Christmas decorations, Elizabeth Street being one of them, Eccleston Yards being another, and also Motcombe Street, which we're gonna show you at the end of the video. I just love all the floral decorations around the different shops and offices. It really does make it look quite special. Even then, again, with the fairy lights wrapped around the tree trunks. Now, adjacent to Belgravia is Chelsea. And here we are on Sloan Square. And in Sloan Square this year, they've decided to hang things from the trees right in the middle of the square, which in all intents and purposes is a massive, very busy roundabout. Now, over the last couple of years, they decided to put a sort of a winter wonderland out here in the middle with sort of um, ice skating or alternatively last year, they had curling here as well, as well as bars and various other places to see Father Christmas. This year, they've toned it down and they kept it very, very plain and simple. And here, as you look down Sloan Street, which heads down towards Knightsbridge, you've also got more lights as well.
So we're in the heart of Chelsea, and this time we're gonna do something we've not done before, which is we're gonna go right down the King's Road and find some of the decorations at the other end, including the world famous Ivy on the King's Road, which always puts out some great decorations, which we haven't covered before. So you definitely wanna stay watching for that. And again, very, very simple, just wrapping the fairy lights around the trunks of the, of the trees here. Amazing. Now, the entrance to the Duke of York Square takes you round behind the buildings which are on the King's Road, takes you almost into a secret area. And every year at Christmas, they put a massive wreath or they just put something up massive here, a big tunnel which you can walk through. This year, they've gone for the 12 days of Christmas. Hence, you've got the ducks. Can you see the drums for the drummers drumming? And as you go through, you probably see shoes hanging down, all sorts of bits and pieces. And it's a theme that they've put right through Chelsea this year, which is absolutely fantastic. And for me, I just love the classic stuff. So there you go, you've got the shoes for the dancers dancing, uh, you've got the pipes for the pipers piping, uh, what else have you got? But also as you go around, can you see those like big scrolls? Yes, it's the words on there to the 12 days of Christmas. There you go, you've got a number of pears in the tree as well. Now this place is an absolute must if you're coming to Chelsea, so whatever you do, make sure you get along here, because believe you me, I had to fight my way through all the people taking their Instagram selfies in front of this wreath. There you go, you've got some of the calling birds there as well, and as you can see, you've got some of the script there from the 12 days of Christmas. There you go, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. But have no fear, you're gonna see a lot more of them as we go walking around Chelsea. Now, if you saw the Kew Gardens video that we did, you know I love a good walk backwards and through forwards through a light tunnel. Well, any tunnel is exactly the same. But then when you walk through and you come out in the Duke of York Square, which is just around the back, you then come across one of the first days of Christmas. Yes, you come across the seventh day of Christmas and it's, um, yeah, some swans with their eggs and little swanlets as well. Then, as you go walking around, they're sort of all over the place. So you've got four calling birds up here, which is quite dark, but there you go. You've got the birds on the wreath there, hanging between the buildings. And then as you go through, you've got another thing here, which just marked that the whole decoration is about the seven days of Christmas. Sorry, the 12 days of Christmas. Sorry, I just lost five days there. <laughs> but it's, it makes it very, very plain to see when you're looking. There you go, you've got two turtle doves on the other side of it, and all very, very well done. We're gonna show the others as we go through, all over Chelsea. Really hoping you're loving our Christmas video from both Chelsea and Belgravia and here in Chelsea. And if you are, do us a favor, give us a thumbs up, will you? And if you haven't subscribed already, you want to, because we've got so many more Christmas videos to come this year, and also some amazing videos on London planned for 2024, so you definitely want to join us. Now we're back on the King's Road, and I always thought there was just one crown, but have no fear, I found another one right at the other end of the King's Road as well. So I think it actually signifies the start and the beginning of it. Now, this is the big Christmas tree in Chelsea, and there you go, I think I found our partridge with all of the pears in the pear tree. They've done a great job at camouflaging him, I tell you. So what's great is, whilst they're really, really effective of an evening, you can actually come and see these during the course of the day. And here, you've got a cow. So this must be for eight maids of milking. Although I don't see any maids around, but I can see a lovely number eight in the Frisian cow color. Now, what I absolutely love is six geese are laying, and there are six different geese sort of sandwiched around in nests underneath the trees that they've got sandwiched around Chelsea, which was really, really well done. Again, they've got the details on the side there, so you can actually see what they relate to. Five golden rings? Yep, they're on the wall here by the Saatchi Gallery. And then as you walk around, here's another geese are laying. Now I didn't count six, but I promise you there will be six around because I think they've got the attention to detail here. They go nine dancers dancing and you've got the nine there. And can you see the shoes hanging there with the ribbons? Yeah, absolutely, very well done. And it also matches quite nicely with what we saw in the uh, wreath that you walked through earlier as well in the entrance to the Duke of York Square.
This garland highlights this door very well, which then takes you through to the Saatchi Gallery, which is a big attraction here in the middle of Chelsea. But I just wanted to bring you this garland because it's absolutely beautiful, not only for all of the lights, but also for all of the baubles. And then you've got hats on there as well. Um, and I reckon that's probably for the Lords are leaping. Although I didn't catch a number. Right, this just gives you a lovely view of this courtyard rounded by the Duke of York Square. And you've got all the trees and look at this. You've even got the stars hanging in the trees which takes you almost back to Sloane Square. And then you've got uh, fairy lights around the tree trunks as well and various things hanging from the lamppost. So it really is a beautiful place to come. Now, we're gonna go for a walk further down the King's Road. And as you do, you come to this classic sign which is used a year after after year just um, sort of highlighting where exactly you are in London just in case you get lost For filming this video, I took a walk right down the whole of the King's Road, which until the flower show that they had here in Chelsea in May this year, I had never done before. And actually, all I can say is it's a good long walk, so I've got my steps going. But you can see at the other end, you have different lights hanging across, but also you've got more beautiful shops. Now, if that rem if it reminds you of another shop that you've seen already in this video, yes, they've got the branch in Belgravia in the corner as well, which looks exactly the same with their Christmas decorations as well. Now, as you look and you go further up the King's Road, not only have you got these beautiful places, you've got more trees with more lovely lights going around it and also another crown hanging across the road, but also you've got the ivy here in Chelsea as well. And they always have a Christmas decoration outside, which we've never featured before on this channel. So I thought, right, as I'm gonna walk the whole length of the King's Road, it's time to feature the ivy. And here you've got a family of polar bears with the ivy sitting on their jumpers. Lovely, isn't it? To be quite honest, I was lucky just to get a couple of snapshots very, very quickly before everyone descends out or comes down for their selfies. Because believe it or not, it was a long queue by the time I left of everyone wanting to get their selfies with the polar bears outside the ivy. If you're a regular watcher of the channel and you've seen our Oxford Street lights from this year, you'll recognize the gold and the brand as well. Yes, they have one over here in Chelsea, just behind Sloane Street. Now this is a lovely little place in Chelsea and if you've seen our previous videos, you've seen it both in springtime and also when they had all the flowers down here for the Chelsea Flower Show. This is Pavilion Road. It's got lots and lots of independent little shops down here. But what I was surprised about is whilst you've got, there you go, you've got uh, the garlands all going round the buildings as well and you've also got some wreaths in the window. There wasn't too much in the way of street lights until this later part, which is pretty much here all the time apart from the fairy lights up at the top of the eaves there of the shops over on the right hand side. So once again, if you're coming to Chelsea, you definitely want to take a walk down here because as you can see, you've got independent cheesemongers uh, and also independent little cafes and restaurants to eat at. And also it's great to eat outside all time of the year. And normally they've got umbrellas with heating on there. So you can come and sit out here and keep warm whilst you're having a lovely bite to eat here in the heart of Chelsea. And I love what this Muse house has done at the end. So whilst it hasn't got lights around the tree, it's got decorations hanging from it and it's got two chairs and a table with a reserve sign on it. Lovely. Okay, let's go further up. We're going back into Belgravia. This is Sloane Street and just off Sloane Street and round the back of Motcombe Street, you have the back entrance to Waitrose 
and here is, yeah, it's a flower shop, okay? Doesn't matter what it says, it is a flower shop. But this has got to be one of the best decorated flower shops. Actually, to be quite honest, it's probably one of the best decorated shops that I've come across in London so far. It's absolutely amazing. So not only have you got the garlands going around the window and the door, but just look at how well it's decorated inside the windows as well. I think for me, not only is this the best decorated shop in London, but this is probably one of those little secret finds that I've got to have to keep coming back to because we did film it at Valentine's Day and they had a massive heart going around the door. So it's one of those places to keep an eye on just in the heart of Belgravia. And then when you have a good look inside, what have you got? You've got a soldier, you've got Father Christmas and a reindeer all in there as well, plus lots and lots of other Christmas decorations and wreaths that you can buy here in the heart of Belgravia. So now we hit our final place in Belgravia, and this is Motcombe Street. Now in Motcombe Street, it's all pedestrianized, so it's a lovely place to come and stroll down with lots more independent shops in the heart of Belgravia. And this year, they've decided to put stars going right across. Now, if you saw our recent live stream, you would have caught me when I was here filming it, so you've actually had a preview of this already. And if not, hey, no worries, here it is in its full. So we're gonna take a walk down Motcombe Street, and as you can see, not only have you got the stars going across the middle of the street but you've also got Christmas trees hanging from the balconies above the little independent shops as well. Now, Markham Street is a little treasure trove, and if you're going to Knightsbridge and sort of visiting Harvey Nicks or Harrods, Markham Street is no more than a five minute walk away from both of those. So this is in the top end of Belgravia. So you definitely wanna come for a little walk around here. And how about this garland with all of the presents? Looks lovely, doesn't it? And this is outside of a hairdresser's. The style of the street here with the railings going above on the first floor and the Christmas trees at the top remind me very much of Elizabeth Street, which we showed you earlier with all of the different shops with the garlands going around the window. Yep, that's one with the one with the reindeer, but no Father Christmas. So it very much reminds me of it. So it just ties these two streets in together quite nicely. And they're probably about three quarters of a mile apart. So a little walk between the two, but all part of the beautiful Belgravia. Really hope you've enjoyed our video of both Belgravia and also Chelsea. Now, another video you might wanna see is the Christmas lights from this year, both in Oxford Street and Regent Street. But what we've also done is tagged a couple of the places which are adjacent to those that not many people go to. So you definitely wanna click on this video to see more London decorations.